Dream Team playthrough, and this is one I've been really looking forward to. Um, this is Victoria Gardens by Lisi, who is on the red team, um, and this is going to be based on a sandbelt course, which is my absolute favourite type of course. And if there's only one type of course I could ever design again, it would be sandbelts every single time. They're super technical, really fun, width angles, stunning to look at, like everything you would want in a golf course. Um, so his notes, um, white tees, prevailing wind from south, default conditions are fine, but greens will play at 187. Um, hopefully not for me, they won't. won't. Uh, let's go with... So he said winds from south, right? Let's go with that. Good as TG, well, TGC, yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly the one. We've got the sand belt. Um, medium, tougher CC slash elite. General sand belt influences. Kingston Heath, Peninsula Kingswood and Huntingdale. Huntingdale is a fun one. Had a Yarra vibe. Well, we love to hear that. Big fan of Yarra. Still, like, making that last year is one of the most fun experiences i've had like in this game just adore this style of course so yeah lisi was in rookie contest last year um and i can't remember what his course was from last year he then followed that up with a heathland one shadwell heath i want to say um this is where we need cd over now oh yeah he's got the the yara style clubhouse he managed way more houses than i fit on with the meter and he's put it by Melbourne, so he's got a little city backdrop, which is great. I mean, this sort of overhead just makes you happy, doesn't it? Inter like interconnecting fairways. Love, love, love this area. The bunkers look amazing. So much good. Um, big kind of wasty areas as well, which is which we have on a few of them. And interested to see how those work. Just... Yeah, gorgeous. And Delta looks so good for this stuff in this game. Now, I mean, you say no sucking up to judges. The pros and the cons of me judging this is that, like, A, I love sandbuck courses, but B, I know how difficult they are to pull off. And yeah, I, I will be looking at a lot of the technical stuff and both appreciating how hard it is, but also, like, got a pretty good eye for it. Um, so, yeah. Should be a lot of fun. I'm really liking the texture choices. Spline bunkers look great. The shapes look awesome because those are hard to nail. Yeah, let's just get into this. I've been looking forward to this one for a while. Okay, so first hole. And the other thing is this has to be really packed with um, strategy, basically, because that's what they do. All right, bunker sculpting is good. There are bits we could do. We could be dropping this part a little. It goes very steep and then pretty much flat. I would probably drop so it's just a gentle slope into the middle. Um, and the other thing that took me ages to try to figure out was just, which is kind of there, but you probably want to raise up from this part just a little bit more so you get that kind of scalloped look. I mean, it does look awesome though, doesn't it? Planting's great. It is a real clutch publish. Um, and it should also be mentioned that John unfortunately lost his file in a corruption at some point during the contest now to basically race this one through. Um, it, you wouldn't know. It's really good. The bleeding, the planting in towards the bunkers looks perfect. Just class. And we want to be... Uh, I think I'm in the bunker. We're in the big, thick, deep rough here. Just trying to be way further right. I left him. Okay. I think you've absolutely nailed the planting. And what I would say you've done, I would, I, I would go with better than than I managed on Yara is like the, the spacing and just allowing those big open views and not cluttering with, like, you've gone for a lot of fairway around the holes and a lot of spacing and just openness and I think that really benefits which. With hindsight, I wish I'd done a little bit more. This looks good. Yeah, cool green sight. I can imagine we've got some fun pins like this one here will be great. And yeah, hey, Ericsson. I think, yeah, still with the bunkers, like we are so close with the bunker sculpting. 
like just dropping a couple of areas a little bit more, but it is so difficult. Like this bit would go down a little more. This bit probably a touch, but it's well actually no, that bit's fine. Probably I remember you were battling with this bit. I still think this could come up the front of this could come up just a touch to expose that sand, then drop the bit in front of it. Um and you'll be able to see a little bit more of it. But it's a really tricky bunker shape you're dealing with. And probably if you you'd have to bring it out a little bit further. Tree line here is great. Tree lines everywhere have been really good. I think you've also say, saved yourself a lot of pain by using quite a bit of the native planting and the trees aren't too dense. Hi guys, thank you for joining on in on Saturday afternoon. Um, and really love the planting in front of the tea. Just great, great hole. I like that this green is not difficult and yet that still felt like a relatively difficult shot to hit. Go on. Thought I might have that. Setting up for the par pot here. Okay, moving on. Yeah, Colic, I'm, I'm totally with you. I think it's really good. Mix of grasses is great. Lighting is spot on. Bit of a long par four here. Uh, I absolutely nailed the lighting. Handle, I'm sure. so, uh, let's put it in, the in a way that isn't too dark, isn't too bright and sunny. Ah, okay. So we've got a big run off to the left of the green, so we don't really want to be coming at it from the right because we're hitting more at it. Little spine in the green pushes the balls just a touch closer. Is he? I uh, see, Matty, I told you it was going to start having him talking. Silky swing. John McCarthy is a saint. Yards to go here. That's a really cool hole in like. You've got so much space out right, and it's just where you do not want to be. Great bunkering around the green. Yeah, this is this whole screen sand belt. Huh. That is an annoying shot. To the right on the approach here. Now, I suspect this was done partly as like a bit of a time saver. Um, but you will know that you could do these transitions a little bit neater and kind of work them round and out um, rather than mowing dead into that. But to be honest, it doesn't matter. Some sandbelt courses do it, some don't. I I decided to do it because I thought ju like judges would typically critique that. It looks great, whatever. Okay, good um, stuff. Back but yeah, I think if, if you're looking for a, a really good area to save time, definitely. Nice chip. Fantastic. Little sand paths look great as well. Like those fit and make. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. It was it was one hundred percent the controller not registering. Awesome city backdrop here. Like that. Those bunkers l love these. They look like they are just creeping out of the planting. Could not look more natural. Little lion's mouth. Now I wonder to what extent you want balls rolling off the green here and into a bunker. So personally, I think I would have been trying to raise up this part as much as possible. This square, this like line of squares, there's nothing you can do about because of how the grid, the green grid renders them. These ones, I think we could raise up a touch more. Now, actually, I think we can play all the way out here for this pin. No, not a fast now. Okay, about Painted Sky just died. Ah, oh, poor Axel. Is this who you've got in singles? I'll tell you what, that is a tough front pin. We've got room to land it over, but this... Not much. Yeah, like one of those proper... 
Australian sound belts, right, Axel? This one's your they can do. They're so difficult to get right. Like, it is a real knife edge trying to design these. That and high, just think, nice but they are so much fun. That shows some about got that. This one after a bogey on the last. Well done. Okay, one under for the round. The size of these bunkers looks great. Just really expanding the kind of the corridor for this hole. I would love. I don't know what I feel about this one. This one feels a touch removed from area of play. Could probably lower this bit of the land as well. Just show off that bunker even more. But I do love the optical illusion that like you think it's two bunkers. Kingston Heath particularly does this. You think it's two bunkers, but in fact it's just one with that giant like protrusion in the middle. Might have loved like a, a really like front bunker just as like a deception one. So like as in you put one just about here, but raise it up so it looks like it's right in front of the green. I think that could have been cool. That said. Where are the rakes? No, no, not a critique you can get here. Just the width and spacing you've given this tee shot is perfect. Love it. Ah, and it is like, it's a good challenge. If you are off your tempo, you're not going to score well. Okay. Would not have called that. Oh God, sit down. <laughs> all right, let's give this that was very lucky. Let's see how this all adds up. Tell you what, I also kind of think you are. Stay at one under. He holds stones. Yeah, this holds a part four. Hey, Rhino. Rhino, I am going to get to yours this evening. I cannot wait. I've only got time for two this afternoon, but this evening we are we are walking a cock. Yeah, subtlety of angles is really good. Oh my goodness! Just Closer we get to that bunker, the better. Setting this one up, 145 yards away. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna play rhinos tonight, and then one other. Hopefully, I should be able to get two done. What time? Oh, I thought you wanted me to just repeat the name of the course. Uh, probably around eight o'clock GMT. We are walking to go. You complete ban on YouTube. Switch. Exactly that. Alrighty, down to two under par after that. This hole is a par four. I was wondering when we were going to get a shorter, kind of like more drivable par four. So with all, as always with these, you're looking for a reason not to go for it. I would have liked you to amp up the slopes on this green or make it a bit smaller. I love the concept, and I feel like it's definitely a concept I've seen on, is it Commonwealth 16 or similar? Or is it Metropolitan 16? It's one of them. Um, there's a short, very angled hole that looks sort of like this, but the green's tucked more around the corner. I don't think there's a reason not to go for this. He says probably. I, I, that would be my one critique with this one. Second shot here on the seventh hole. A seven may defy opinion a lot. I don't know. I would love that green to be t like tiny or really shallow or something. Oh, that was close. Three under par if you think this. Oh, it's getting there. It's Met Metropolitan 16. L shaped. So oh, I see. We like shallow greens. Yeah, I mean, stupid, stupid plan. This looks awesome. You are absolutely nailing the par threes. Just the bunkering here is so good. Size, I love how big you've made them because it, it just really works. Take a good shot. 
No, that's not it. The city skyline looks cool. Well, that'll work for you. Twenty-seven feet from the cup. Oh, come on, get in. Oh, had it as well. Okay. Love the little glimpse of the clubhouse as well, coming down the coming down nine. I'm I'm really trying. I just don't have much negative to say about this. Probably could have put a bit more depth on these bunkers. Just more raising up the back of them, I think. This one in particular looks quite flat. Down two, maybe. Yeah, one foot, maybe at this point. I think that's. That's what I've got. Environment looks good. That one house with a swimming pool. Great green in front of the clubhouse. Just again, the space and use of surfaces is perfect. I really hope I get this one for judging. That drive's looking decent here. Love, love this planting down here. Because right. you have not done a lot with it. And it would be so easy to overdo this stuff. But like little bits of trees and grasses just simple and really well done you hope i don't sorry axel i don't i don't know I'm, and even if i did obviously i wouldn't re reveal it uncle layering's on point go on just go left at touch what other options for judges? Judges are good. So you'll you'll be fine with whoever you get. When we reveal the judges on the results show, I'm sure you I would hope people will be happy. Alright, let's pop this in. Birdie putt. This putt's tracking. And you're finding your way around this course. That's your fifth birdie of the day. Love that green site in complex and just uh, I can't get over how well you've done the bunkering. Just absolutely nailed the vibe. I've not, no, no. Hint of a maiden. Cool little front tip. The par threes have been stellar. I do feel like they've all had great lighting, which makes me question directions. So I'll, ch I'll definitely check that on the next playthrough. <laughs> there. Okay, this one's twenty feet. Uh oh. oh just right by the hole. Good stuff. Four under par is your score at the moment. Alright. I was hoping we can get another one of these soon. This is definitely a peninsula kings with green. Like extending all over. Probably got the least fun pin on this green as well, dead centre. Love the bunker, bunkering just like allowing you to have this crazy sort of green shape. Let's see. I think we can probably go for this. Well, that Provided we clear, I think we're all right. Second shot on hole number 11. I really like these sorts of holes. I was hoping we were going to have a few more of these where driver's not necessarily the best play because you want to be far back to have a wedge in. And like, just because I'm hitting driver, I don't think I'm missing that. I just want to see how it plays from the shorter side. They're all different directions other than two and two, ten and two. Yeah, 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 that's fine. But we'll, we'll check. Again, just all of the bunkers. Nice to have a little bit of reverse camber. That's a very sand belt sort of feature. This bunker just eating into this side's great. I cannot believe how well you've done this given the time you had. Should be smooth sailing off the tee. All right, second shot on the twelfth. Okay, just over that bunker. Should get us on.
that is about as good as I can do. And it's going to kick left into the bunker. Yep. <laughs> uh, it was always a risky shot. So is that next to four we're just playing alongside? Can't quite remember. Love that little shared fairway though. Works really well. Great way of using the space and keeping it open. That's good so far. That was nice. Back to back birdies. And you are looking at a six under. Oh, just started dropping loads of frames for a second. Oh well. That was odd. Three. Okay. <laughs> this is going to divide some opinion. I'm glad you kept it. Stream is good. Okay. Weird. I feel like on these sorts of greens, on this pin set, I haven't really had many tucked ones. I wonder whether that's just a pin set balance thing, or maybe you just haven't tucked them as much. But do love the sight line through to that pin and just seeing all of the bunkers breaking it up. So, okay. This way, good. This way, more coming over that bunker. Simple strategy done well. And hopefully this one's nice I and think we're okay fairway. there. Just. This is about 160 to the pin. Definitely think a real strength of this course has been you allowing those views onto other holes. It's really well thought through and just gives cool little th thoughts of like looking forward to playing that hole or you wonder where it's coming up, all of those sorts of things. So I figured it's the next hole, but it saves you on planting as well. Love that bunker there in conjunction with these two. Just the one where downwind you might roll into it, into the wind would probably fine. Take a little off the driver anyway. That'll do nicely. And this one's about Nailed the types of trees as well. Yeah. Oh, just really good. I think your greens could potentially, yeah, probably, but it's not really worth, for different pins, definitely. For that front pin, I don't need to come over a bunker, really, coming from dead straight. I think I might like to see some of the green slopes spiced up just a touch to allow you to, like, backstop and roll off slopes a little more, but I think... More kind of raw Melbourne, how people will work it off. Those. But I'm, I'm really enjoying what you've got. This is good. So again, the further right we are, the more we're hitting at that and over these bunkers. So we want to be pretty straight on. Which means challenging that bunker and high side here. Probably trying to let... Oh, I like that you've allowed this bit of fairway here. It's like a good course for kinetic, isn't? Beautiful. Yeah, it would be. Hey Wes, so I know I'm into the wind, but I feel like that gives us a really good look straight down the green. I wasn't into the wind. What am I about? <laughs> the peanut. The the beaker emoji is a pithy That's all right. emoji. And the other one, basically Kenyon started randomly making emotes. Mad scientist. Um, and the peanut is what he imagines me as. For whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, there we are. 
See here, we've got a little bit more backstop opportunity. This feels similar in vibe to one of the earlier par threes, but doesn't in any way feel the same, which I love. It's a nice little callback. Come on. You'll be all right there. Yeah, exactly. This one's about 15 feet. Absolutely racing through his course, just really enjoying it. Way to get that birdie. Sitting at eight under for the round. Teeing it up on a par four. I think this one. Planting my one critique would probably be it could use a couple of splashes, more colour or different little bushes, like or little grasses, the highlight stuff it could use would like just really grab you off the tee a little bit more. Oh. I just don't I know I've played it before, but this waste bunker kind of feels like it's coming out of nowhere a little bit. I don't know why. I think if you were doing this, I would have probably tried to incorporate it on another hole somewhere as well. Equally, these... I know, I can't remember which hole it is that we're... Mine's gone blank. Which hole we're paying allusion to here. I'd have probably removed one of these like, little fingers and probably, like, you can get away with one fewer. And it'd give you a bit more spacing. It just looks a touch cramped there. But again, like, really cool look off the tee. Uh, and we are going dead over this bunker. And this one is around 180 yards to the pin. What green are we playing back to there? Oh, that's the par 3 tenth, maybe? Hopefully we get a bounce to the left. Tough shot. I think I'd just like the greens, the greens to have a little bit more movement. Nice little chip in for birdie. That was that's about it. Nine under for the round. And then eighteen. Now on the final hole of this course. Oh, five great bunkering down the right. Presumably, the more we clear of that, the better. Not gonna be able to do that cut off that much. Yeah, exactly. It's tidy. And then a great look in. I think I'd have probably bunkered this complex more heavily, like for a closing hole. Chuck all the framing bunkers you can in and around here. Um what's the one that comes to mind that does that really well? Peninsula Kings with three or eighteen, like both of them. Ooh just tons of bunkers everywhere and just makes it look more intimidating and this bunker is so good and so well done chuck a couple more like cross bunkers here making that like little diagonal which you've done so well that one coming in from this side like i think would add a little bit more um but we can't reach so well we can but oh, let's give it a go Thank goodness that went off. That's going to be an entertaining part, otherwise. Grab. There we are. And then Clubhouse we should have a little look at. Yeah, it looks great. Love the, like... Love the way you've done that. Just, yeah. And being able to look, look down the ninth as well is really cool. Up. Today you get to finish your round with I mean, that is just a blast to play. Really enjoyed it. Um, there are a few things we spotted. Yeah, a couple of technical bits with the bunkers, um, some of the sculpting. Planting, I'd love to see a few more high, little highlight grasses, but actually the amount you've done so flipping well way outweighs that. The bunkers are great shaping-wise, and the size of them is perfect. Like The scale of sandbelt bunkers is so easy to get wrong. Um, and make them too small and I definitely did that same with the greens um, it takes ages to get on top of that stuff would have liked to see the greens fired up just a little in terms of slopes but we can play them at 187s 
what I mean is more just have some big because for me a big part of sandbelt golf is like when the ball gets on the green it's kind of always rolling or moving off slopes or kicker slopes and funneling to different pins we had some of that I'd have just loved to have seen a little bit more um but yeah I think the course plays really nicely um felt varied and balanced yeah just just a ton of fun who is this facing good question we can tell you uh, I believe it's Painted Sky in singles, and that's Axel. And then it is going along with Manga Pass. This is a three-day course, and absolutely rightly so. So with Manga Pass against Old Stones and Jogadi, which I still haven't played, and then along with Brentwood, which I still haven't played, against Saranac and Crepe Myrtle, which actually, I really liked Saranac. I think this definitely holds its own against Saranac which makes Brentwood Crate Myrtle look really interesting. Um, I, this was a sneaky good course that I think a lot of people slept on. Just awesome. Great job, Lisey. Right, guys, we're going to be back later this evening, so about 8 o'clock, so that's four hours or so from now, and we are going to play Ryan McConnell's uh, Walking Cock, and we are also going to play... I should probably choose one from Blue that I haven't played... Uh, Altamira GNCC will be the one we go with. So I'm going to try and get through two more. Cheers, Patrick. Cheers, Jay, Wes, Seb. Thank you very much, all. And we will see you later. Have a good afternoon. <laughs>